All right, this video is on how to make a now to go sheet. So you're looking at my now to go sheets. So I want to walk you through the steps. I simply made this in Microsoft Word and I used a smart chart. You can do it that way. You can make columns in a spreadsheet. Um, you can draw it out however it works for you. But the biggest thing here is we want to look at where we are now. So this is a 12-week um, a course. And so we have our where we are now. We have to recognize where we are now. And so for me, I am a level three um, last month and I had four EC legs. So in this top column here, you are simply just going to write where you were last month. So if you were at such and such sales and no EC legs or I was an EC leg myself whatever it is all right so by the end of January we're going to have a checkpoint okay and we'll talk about checkpoints in a minute we'll have another checkpoint in February but we want to start with our goal in mind so where do we want to be so by the end of this 12-week boot camp will be March 28th so this is probably where you're going to land at the end of March now, our goal here is that you are going to be able to have four new business partners by the end of your 12 weeks. So I want you to calculate what you being active and four new business partners would put you. For me, it would put me at a level five, and that would mean eight EC legs. So if it was, for example, you would be landing at level three, that would mean level three, four EC legs. So that honestly should be the lowest that anyone should be targeting right now um, because that would mean that you're starting right now just with yourself. Um, it doesn't matter if you were EC last month or not because we're going to make sure that you're EC every month and then we're going to hopefully be adding and training four new business partners to help you support. If you were a particular rank last month, I want you to... Um, and the box down here below this box is like who are those peeps for you who are those key players um, I like to think about this sort of as a basketball team these are your first string ladies these are the people who you spend the most time with um, these are the people who mean the most to you because they are working their business um, and so your time is best spent with your first string people. Now that doesn't mean you ignore your second and your third string, but second people will be playing it, people who are playing it in and out. They're not always consistent, but they, you know, are hitting EC level every now and then. And then level three are people who just join you and haven't really done anything. So when you think about where your time is, because your time is money, we have to be playing with our first string the majority. So this is going to be focused a lot on your first string. So if you didn't have anyone last month, you would just put no EC legs. If you did, you would write in who it was. Now, for your March dates, you're gonna say, um, for example, I need eight EC legs. So I here have my original four, and then you can see that I have begun to think about who are my other people in the business partners I'm going to be adding and training very intentionally to become active. So you would put who may be your potential people, um, your potential EC legs if they are already on your team and you think that they have the drive to be here. If you have no one, then you're just going to put blanks there. Like so, if you need if you need four EC legs to hit level three, you're just going to have four blanks right now. Okay, and we'll fill in some of those blanks as we come back. Now, for these two, we want to have checkpoints. So as we get here, we want to be adding one new business partner at least a month. And that's almost like one new business partner who wants to kick butt with us. So we know everyone who joins us is not always intentionally wanting to kick butt right away. So that's why sometimes we may be shooting to add two to three people a month, hoping that one of them is that shifting for gold and that gold nugget we've been looking for. Um, hold on one moment. I'm going to extend my goal sheets. Okay, so if we were here, 
a checkpoint would be that by the end of January, you go, you add one EC level. So maybe that takes you from um, no level right now to um, executive or level one because the level because you should instantly plan on having six hundred every month from here on out. It's just what we're going to expect of each other. But if right now in December you didn't rank anywhere, you weren't EC level, then you're going to promote to a level one here by the end of January, which would mean you need one EC leg. Okay? Then you would promote to level two because you're going to in the next month add another strong business partner so that would put you up to two EC legs now by March you would jump you would have hit you're not quite level three yet because you don't have four so you may say you can choose do you want to go for it and say level three and you're going to be needing to add two new business partners knowing that somewhere you're going to need to double up or are you planning to hit um Stay, stay at level two, but add another EC leg, okay? So you can see like here, I am staying at a level four for two times, but each, but here I'm adding someone, okay? So again, these are my first string players who are gonna help me get there. Now, by the time that I'm talking about February, I wanna make sure, and you'll notice that you're gonna have your January business partner. So that person should be a key player to you because you're gonna be training them and we're gonna do an we're gonna be doing income generating activities to help them get there. So it, you may have no one as your key players and you're gonna put blanks for them, okay? But by the time that you get to February 28th, you should definitely have written in here January business partner because we will have trained this person. So even if you don't know who that is, you're just gonna write it in. Like right now, I don't know who that is, okay? Then in March, I have my January person and my February person, okay? Because then I have fully trained them. We've had their BBL. I'm hoping um, I'm, we're gonna be doing some coaching with them to really get them there. So this is really who are your first string players with you, okay? So then, Next, um, we want to look at, these are some of your income generating activities. So these are the things when we talk about the 80-20 rule. These are things that are time that is well spent, okay? So for example, if you look at mine, I need six EC legs to in my January, okay? So I'm going here. So I have Morgan, and then you can see Sorry, it's real teeny. I can't see who I wrote next. Jen. So, and, you're, and some of you may go, oh, shit, she's counting on me. And it is. And this is the way we work it, okay? Because I believe you're going to kick butt. You see I have Nancy and Marilyn, and I'll tell you why. Because Nancy hits one month and Marilyn hits the other month. They both, luckily, they don't both have good months at the same time. So, I can count, I can rely on one of them to pretty much always, one of the two to always be at 600. And then Meredith and then Amy or Tara. So if Amy doesn't, Tara's in our boot camp. I know she's going to pick it up and would count, okay? So I'm looking here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, but I need six in my blank. So a big bang for my buck right now is to spend time with my new girl that I joined um, in November, Erin. And so I'm meeting with her today. And what we need to do is do weekly coaching calls together. So I am really nothing more than helping her be her accountability. So I've created something that is called a 10-day plan, which is very similar almost to what we are doing a little in boot camp with reaching out to people. But basically, they're reaching out to 10 for 10 days. They're going to reach out to five people a day and do two follow-ups to their previous day. So I'll share that document with you, but it's basically just blanks in a spreadsheet for them to fill out. It's got conversation starters from Sarah Robbins, and this is a good coaching spot, okay? So that's a good thing for me to spend my time doing is coaching Erin um, because she, one, wants it, and two, that coaching someone is time well spent okay also you can see another activity I'm going to be doing that is going to be bringing me income is add a new business partner so 
every week I'll be doing 50 reach outs, 10 voice to voice, and two, two, oh sorry, that should be, yeah, two three-way calls, okay? Now in your spot here, you're going to be doing 50 reach outs a week, 10 voice to voice. Now those vo voice to voice can be some of your 50 reach, reach outs, or they may be in addition to that. Hold on, I need to extend my, um, my plan. All right, so we are back. And so here you would have, yours is going to look just like mine, but add a new business partner in January. And the activity we're doing to make that happen is 50 reach outs, 10 voice to voice. Now you only have to have one three-way a week, okay? So that could be with your upline or your downline, okay? But in that, those are what I'm promising to myself to do. And these are the activities that I know that will help me find this business partner, okay? And then another activity that I'm doing is I'm doing the boot camp with you guys. So I'm in leveled up training, but then I'm reproducing it for my first, some of my first string players. And some of my key players, like J Jessica is important because Jessica's going to help Morgan grow. And so I took some key people who wanted to play this game right and who we can spend time together. So these are like the activities. So basically underneath all this, underneath your third column here, are activities that are going to help you reach your goals. So whatever your activities, maybe you've got um, an event planned at a boutique. Um, maybe you have, um, you're going to be hosting a wine and wash. Like these are all, these are whatever this is, this is the time you're going to spend helping you reach these goals. What are the action steps that are going to help you? Okay. So if you need any help making your plan, I'm here to help you. Um, but basically this is what a now to goal sheet looks like. And so you're going to create yours before next Tuesday and share it on our team page, on our secret team page, not the real big page, but our secret page. From there, um, your accountability partner is going to be responsible for looking over it and helping you stay accountable. So you want to print yours and you want to print your accountability partner so that you guys can discuss back and forth. And you might, after talking to your accountability partner, add even more action steps in here that you go, oh, that was a good thing I didn't even think about. I'm going to add that in my plan. So make it a working document. You don't have to have it finalized at first. But you do need to have your plan written out by next Tuesday by midnight and shared on our secret badass page. Um, I think, let's see, as for your homework, um, I right, see so your personal challenges, again, are your now to go sheet. Um, to share your now to go sheet, you need to calendar in weekly talks with your accountability partner. So um, those accountability partners I'm going to announce now. And so I tried to match you with people who were about on your same rank um, so that you could benefit from talking to each other and planning with each other. So um, I am going to... Um, Actually, I'm going to post those. I'm going to post those on our Secret Badass page um, today. So those will be out. Um, and then your other homework is to talk about with your accountability partner the 80-20 rule. So what's one least productive activity you need to get out of? So maybe it's surfing Facebook, looking at Pinterest. What's one income generating activity that's not bringing you in money and stop doing it? And what is one that you can replace it with that would bring you money? And share that with your accountability partner. And then again, you have 50 reach outs. So that may be Facebook messages, emails, but it has to be one-on-one. -on -one. It can't be mass reaches out. Um, it could be text messages, any way that you reach out to people. And then 10 voice to voice. I and mean, I have found this to be pretty easy um, because just talk about what you do everywhere you go and you can easily get 10 in. Um, and then one three-way call, okay? So you need to have, your goal is to have that done. You'll get points. So um, you'll get a point for each group of 10 reach outs that you do. So we'll give one point for 10, so you can earn up to five. And then you get one point for your voice to voice, because we want to do 10. If you do eight, then you get no points. And then one three-way call, you get one point for doing one of those. And then you get a point for doing your goal sheet, 
you get a point for talking with your accountability partner about your goal sheet in the 80-20 rule. And then we'll post our leaderboards. So Monday, I'll be sending you, uh, or I'll be posting a link for a Google survey, and you'll just fill out how many points you got that week. Um, I'll, ha I'll have the points listed out at the top, and then we'll have a leaderboard. So enjoy this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Your business is about to really grow. So enjoy it, ladies.